Over recent months, the whole world has been focused on the humanitarian crisis in the Philippines and Syria. But it's important to realize there are hidden emergencies and serious crises unfolding that don't make the papers. Like here in Karamoja in eastern Uganda, where I met one community so urgently in need of food that they are literally surviving day to day. The people you see here, or the population is here, are, are stricken by famine. I spoke to Pasca. She has four children between the ages of two and nine, who she regularly has to leave in the village, sometimes for a whole day, or she goes to forage for fruit. So how far would you, do you have to walk to find this? She lives here like around seven, and she gets to where these things are around uh, 2 p.m. Then uh, on the way back, she reaches here about four. So it takes a whole day? Yeah, it's almost the whole day. Fruit may sound nutritious, but when you see what people are actually eating, it's berries, leaves, small figs and tamarind, all dried out by the relentless sun. There's a finality to this. There is not an infinite amount of this very, very poor and dry food that they survive on now. So they have very few options left to them. And if they can't sustain themselves from this fruit, they're just not going to sustain themselves at all. And they're going to need help, and a lot of help. To make this to make the situation change. But there is hope. And in other communities here, it's the donations of CAFOD supporters making a difference. This crop, cassava, is one very, very, very good crop. If it say a family has got ten Ten plants of cassava. That is very sustainable. Planting drought-resistant seeds, bringing water up from the ground, helping children to grow up healthy and happy. Then you can see. Look. By digging deep this Lent, you can bring real help and real hope. <laughs> so dig deep, make a difference and change lives this Lent.